Alrighty, welcome back to my channel. It's Aria here. So we're gonna be starting off this video with an art haul of all the art supplies that I got for Christmas. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Artex SimTab acrylic markers. And I was so excited about these because I've seen other YouTubers use them and they look amazing. So they're basically these um, paint pens and you have to activate them first so the tips are white right now. But I'm actually going to be using them later on in this video. So watch out for that. Also, the box did come a bit dented, which I was kind of disappointed about since it's so pretty. And so that was kind of a disappointment on the packaging. But yeah, I'm super excited to try these out, so make sure to keep watching for that. Alrighty. So the next thing I got are these watercolor brush pens from Artecho. Arteco? I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyways, so this is a 48 color watercolor brush set. And they're basically just these markers, and if you want them to be more saturated, you dip them in water, and more or less saturated, less saturated, you dip them in water, and if you want them more saturated, you use them right away. And they're sort of like these brush pens, and I'm really excited to try them out as well, but they're not going to be featured in this video like most of the star supplies. Alright, the next thing I got is also from Artex, and this is the Jumbo Acrylic Marker Set of 12 and i really love this packaging i mean it's literally so pretty and so these are basically jumbo markers that are specialized for covering large spaces and like the other acrylic pens they have to be activated but they basically have these huge tips and i thought they'd be useful and i'm very excited to try these out and there's so many pretty colors as well honestly artex i've never used them before but their packaging is so aesthetic and i'm really excited to try out their brand so yeah Alrighty, and by the way, those are the colors on the back, and I think they're all really pretty and nice and saturated, so yeah. Alright, the next part is the 104 marker Honolulu Uhuhu set, and you guys, these are literally golden. Like, I've, if you've been watching my shorts, I've used these the last few shorts, and they are literally amazing. Yeah, so it's the Honolulu series, and it's the 104 set, and if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a bigger set, this literally has everything you need. I will say the Honolulu sets are a little more pricey, but they're definitely worth it. So yeah, the, so the next part is going to be also from the Honolulu series, and this is the 216 set. So like I said, the Honolulu series is super nice. It's brush markers. And I would recommend this to anyone. I think they're just amazing markers. This set has definitely more. And together, 104 plus the 216 is the 320 set. And this one was actually a surprise. I didn't know I was going to be getting this. And yes, I was super happy about that. And I just love this set. And here's what the marker looks like. It's got the brush tip and the chisel tip. And yeah. So here's some of the colors up close. And I have started swatching these. And the colors are very vibrant. So as you can see, I finished the first swatch set and a little bit of the second. And they're just like very beautiful colors. They're perfect for pretty much anything you want to do. And yeah, so I would definitely recommend this, um, the Honolulu series. I love Uhu in general. So yeah, and hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of these markers. Alrighty, so the next thing is the best for last. So this one was also kind of a surprise, which is the Ohuhu 320 Fine Tip Set. So this is basic Ohuhu markers, and it's literally so satisfying to like run your hands down them. They're, it's just like so nice. There's a lot of these, as you can see. So these are different than the brush markers, and I wanted these because I wanted a lot more colors. So basically these ones are a fine tip on one side, and then on the other side, they are a chisel tip. And these are really nice. And they're kind of like a more unique style of marker. They're not circular. They kind of have those little like divots. And I couldn't really get it to focus. But yeah, that's that. And yeah, so I recommend all of these things that I got. And yeah, so we will, we will be going more in depth with the Artex paint pens later. So that's what we're going to be focusing on this video. And then the other thing I'm going to be doing in this video is customizing the cover and first page of my sketchbook. So for the cover, I'm going to be using the same tap markers. 
that I got from Artex. And so first, I'm just going to be trying them out and activating them. So I did actually skip the activating process because I had a accident happen with them, which I'm going to talk about a little more later, but first I decided to just organize them. So basically what happened is the blue marker, the bright blue one, it basically exploded when I um, opened it and because the ink was already there and it's very staining so this was kind of um, problematic. So I decided to just be super careful and do it over some newspaper and activate the rest myself without the camera because it was just too much. So now I'm basically going to be swatching them, and I'm going to talk a little more about the pros and cons of these markers later. This one I actually forgot to activate, so I'll do this in front of the camera. But so basically what you do is you press on the tip, the little button on the back, and the ink comes out. And as you can see, it's just kind of spreading down the tip, and once it comes out, then it will be pretty much all covered. So yeah. So, so far the swatching is going good, and the reason I decided to swatch them on this um, black paper is because I want to use them on the front of my sketchbook, and I wanted to see how they looked on black paper and test their vibrancy, and as you can tell, they are extremely vibrant. I also like that um, a couple of them are kind of sparkly and metallic, like the gold and the silver, which is a nice surprise. I was not expecting that. So yeah, these are very vibrant, and they do say saturated colors on the box. So now we're going to be using them on my sketchbook cover. This is the new sketchbook I got, and it's actually the Ohuhu marker pad, so it's specially made for markers. A little more on the pricey side, but I think it's going to last me a long time. So I decided to do a special little flower design for the front cover. I thought a lot about the um, theme of the sketchbook, and I wanted it to be flowers, so that's also going to be what the front page is. So up until now, everything was going amazing, and the sketchbook turned out really cute. I wanted it to be a super simple sketchbook cover, because I didn't want to ruin the sketchbook since it was so nice. This is definitely the nicest sketchbook I've ever gotten, and I have to say, markers work amazing on it. So if you're looking for a good marker sketchbook for alcohol ink, this one is amazing. So here's what the flowers turn out like, and I think they're super pretty. And I just wanted it to be super simple, and I also didn't do the other side because it has that kind of like band across it. So yeah, and also the sketchbook was textured, so I wasn't sure how much I should do if it would start chipping off. So that was kind of my thought process. Alrighty, now we're going to be working on the inside. And here is when the mistakes start happening. So Crazy Me decided that I should do the front page with um, the paint pens, even though I'd never made a drawing with them before, and without even testing them out first. So yeah, um, so we can see how that goes. Also, I want to warn you guys, this drawing is going to be looking pretty terrible for a while, but stick with me because I did manage to save it in the end, so let's just try to get there. Also, the ink is very shiny when it's wet, and so it was kind of weird filming it, but yeah, this drawing basically went through an entire reinvention, so the dress turns totally different, everything turns totally different, I ended up redoing a bunch of things, so yeah, let's just go along on this process. And I don't know if you caught that there, but do you see how I tried to use the blue marker again? And it basically just made like a big blue splotch. So I actually ended up throwing that marker away because there was too much ink in it. So that is one of the cons, I would say, is that if they come like that, the ink is very staining. And you basically have no way of knowing if it already bled through or not. So that is kind of an issue that you have to be very careful of. So I'd recommend if you get these markers, doing it over newspaper first and not over any sort of nice surface. But other than that, these markers are very smooth and nice, and they'll just like layer perfectly, and they have a very nice finish. Plus, they're much easier to use than um, like real paint because they're so easy to clean up and use. And as you can see, they're very smooth. So I would say those are definitely the pros, and the cap does fit on the back for people who like that. So this was the original de dress design I had, and it was turning out extremely badly. So basically what I did is I went off camera, and I basically just fixed everything. So here's the existing state of affairs. And basically what I did is I just went back and I redid the face and the dress and the hair. And it does look a lot better now, but it's still not great. So here are we going to try to fix it together. So yeah. And I, I wasn't planning on making her a princess in the beginning. I wanted her to do, be like a flower girl. But she somewhat ended up turning into a princess. But then I removed her crown. I don't know. This is a very chaotic video, you guys. But I guess this is also kind of just a lesson that you can save drawings sometimes. Because you saw how ridiculous looking it did before. I feel like that I made a couple mistakes. One, trying a um, outfit that I'd never tried before with like, the flowery top. And using these markers, which I'd never used before on a drawing. I would say these, you can't get as much detail with them as you can with alcohol ink. 
So yeah, for as far as pros, they're very smooth. You can go over things as many times as you want. They also don't bleed through the paper. And the colors are extremely vibrant. And they're just like so satisfying to use, as you can see. So those are definitely a lot of pros. Plus, they, they just look so nice. And the packaging is super nice, too. As far as cons, um, because of the explosive um, ink, and when you first get them, that could happen. Like, it happened to me. And I have not heard anybody say that yet, so there is that. Secondly, they can get a little bit streaky if you use them too long. It's like the ink doesn't quite replenish, replenish itself, so you kind of have to, like, um, shake them and uh, activate them again if, like, there's too much, um, there's not enough ink. So that, but I mean, honestly, I would say these markers are great. I mean, like, as you can see, they look really nice. They're super smooth. So all in all, I would recommend buying them. And as you can see, I did manage to save this drawing. I mean, it's not my best, but I think it's a lot better. And I'm really glad I didn't give up because I almost did. And I'm really happy that I didn't. And they're also very nice for calligraphy because of the flexible tips. So there is that. And yeah, so I wanted this theme to match the flower theme of the of the front cover so i wanted the page inside to match and yeah so i hope you guys liked this little adventure with um artex markers but yeah so my final statement about these markers is that i would recommend them they're satisfying just beware <laughs> i'm very excited to start getting used to using artex markers because i haven't really had much experience with artex in the past but they seem like a really good brand so yeah also i hope you guys had a great christmas and maybe you got some art supplies too i don't know and yeah so i hope to see you guys around my channel by the way i've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately we are up to 350 and i am just so happy about that so yeah here's the final product so here's what the front cover looks like and then here's what the inside page looks i'm honestly can't believe that i got to this point if you imagine what it looked like before and i think the dress is actually really cute so yeah um this is my first post christmas video and in 2024 i'm planning on posting a full-length video every sunday as one of my new year's